get to the end of your work day, you feel constant tension, your neck and your shoulders, you feel like they can't release, but all you want to do is just hop in the shower and relax. In this video, I'm giving you a simple routine you can do in the shower to release that tension, your neck and your upper back through pandiculation. So pandiculation is a way we can release the tension within your muscles through the nervous system. And the way we do this is that you cause a contraction within the muscle while you're inhaling. And then as you slowly release the tension in the muscle, you slowly release the air within your lungs. And the combination of breath and voluntary contraction allows the muscle to actually learn how to release. It's different than stretching, where stretching is a forced external pressure or you pushing your muscles through a certain range of motion. Stretching can sometimes actually facilitate more tension within the body. So pendiculation uses the ability of the nervous system to teach your muscles that it's time to relax. So to do this, you just need a washcloth and a shower. So to start, you're going to hold the washcloth in front of you with thumbs out. While you do that, this is an active exercise. So you're doing this and you're actively pulling the washcloth in opposite directions. As you do that, inhale. And as you exhale, you're slowly going to release down and release the tension on the washcloth. And then going for another one, again, pulling the washcloth in opposite directions. You can do this with active motion. So pulling the washcloth as you raise the arms up and inhale. Hold while holding your breath and slowly exhale as you release the tension down and the tension on the washcloth. And doing it in combination with the warm water coming down in the shower is even more beneficial for full relaxation and not causing you to take even more time out of your day to get that relaxation. For the second one, you're gonna hold the towel behind your back. So again, it's gonna be that outward pressure that we did in the first one. So holding it between your hands and then you're putting that pressure on the towel. So making it taut as you push outward with your arms. Again, while you're holding that tension, that, re that contraction, you're going to inhale. And then slowly release as you release the tension on the washcloth. I'm gonna do that again. So again, pull apart the washcloth, cause there to be tension and contract as you inhale. Hold and slowly release your breath and the tension on the washcloth. It's important to note that you want to fully relax. So after each contraction and then slowly releasing the contraction, you want to give yourself a moment of pause to feel that relaxation. So you should feel like there's no tension within the muscles. The pause is just as important as the active part of this exercise. For the last one, we're gonna do release of the neck muscles. So again, while you're in the shower, you can take the washcloth, place it on the back of your head. So just as the rounded part of your head, you're going to push your head into the washcloth, almost like you're giving yourself a double chin. So you should feel the muscles in your neck contract as you do this. So again, pushing against the washcloth, Inhale as you contract, and then as you release the tension in the back of your neck, slowly exhale. And you can even release the arms down. You should feel like there's no tension within your system. So the pause in this, again, is just so important to do. So we'll do that last one again. So you're going to take the washcloth in the back of your head. Again, you're pushing against the washcloth, so you're resisting your neck coming back. So you're again just holding that position. This is just a static contraction of those muscles. So as you contract the muscles in the back of your neck, you're going to take a deep inhale through your nose, hold. And as you slowly exhale, begin to relax the muscles. So allow the muscles to decrease their contraction 
in relationship to how slowly you're exhaling. The slow exhale is important for this. And again, at the end of the slow exhale, allowing your system to just take a pause and notice that relaxation within the system. So the next time you're feeling like you're tense, you can't actually relax, and you're just trying to get through your day, those little moments that you can do things for yourself and honor your needs are so important. And if it is combining the shower that you were gonna take anyway with these exercises, then what a gift to yourself to allow that relaxation to occur. When you have tension within your body, it's so important to recognize it and honor the needs of your system. Tension within your body is a really indicative of stress levels. So when we experience stress, our nervous system responds in a way that we have this fight, flight, and freeze response. And because of that, we get tension within our fascia, which is our connective tissue. We get tension within our muscles. And a lot of times we don't even realize we have this tension because we've carried it for so long. It's become a pattern of behavior that we don't even realize is going on. So that's why it's so important to recognize if you're feeling a little tense, because if you're starting to recognize it, it's probably even more than your higher baseline that exists. And that's when we need to absolutely start taking care of ourselves, And we need to make this a regular occurrence. And instead of adding something on where we feel like we have another job or it just becomes a thing of willpower, when we can start incorporating it into our daily routine and make these small little adjustments, it's a game changer. Relaxation in the body goes deeper than just the physical body. We have to incorporate the mind, body, and spirit and the nervous system. The nervous system is huge and it plays a huge role in how we experience life and the tension that we carry. So going through the nervous system is going to get to that root of why we're experiencing the tension in the first place. If you're feeling stressed out, overwhelmed, burnout, and in pain, follow my channel. I help perfectionists who are high achievers, who are burnt out, stressed out, overwhelmed, and in pain, stop feeling like that and feel like they can finally feel free in their body and start enjoying life and being present. So if that's you, hit subscribe, follow my account, and let me know how this went for you. I'd love to hear from you.